teaching y'all how to replace a battery, CMOS battery, in a tutor. Alright, first off, we're going to start out with holding the power button down to make sure all the power is out. And then after that, you're going to open up the case, right, and ground yourself. That's what he's doing in the video right there. Alright, then he's trying to find the battery. I point out the battery right there. Grabs the battery. Lifts the tutor, grabs the battery. Alright. Now, the screwdriver, you need a little baby screwdriver. And on this close up shot, you see the battery right there on the motherboard. And you get the screwdriver, you wedge it in the side there. Right Make the sure side. it's on the plastic, on not the plastic. on the motherboard. On the plastic. Lightly pop it out with the screwdriver. Light pressure. Light pressure. Then you remove the battery. Remove the battery. As shown. Yeah, you get your new battery. Make sure the side is right. You know, I mean, it's pretty obvious. We'll tell which side's which. How you pulled it out, and then you press it back in there. Just pressure. You're gonna go ahead and shut the case. Shut, shut the, the case. case. Make sure it's properly shut. Mm -hmm. Good job shown there. You want to stick your screwdriver and extra battery in your pocket, so they are not lost in transportation. Back to Mr. Poole's classroom. You go ahead and grasp, please. Get the computer. You're gonna go ahead and take it back to the teacher's desk or any other desk. How you have to do it? Where it was originally placed at. Yes. And then you want to hook everything back up except the power cord. You do that at the very end. Yes. <laughs> yes. So uh, right here, I'm just plugging this thing in right now. Mm -hmm. Then uh, here, here in a minute, I'm going to show you how to change the time on the pooter. And all that because you got to reset that because you took out the battery that keeps track of that because it was bad. All right, I'm still plugging it in here right now. I'm plugging in the uh, monitor cable, looks like for the uh, overhead projector. Make sure you get those tight, screwed in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. You're close up in there. Yep, good camera effect here. You get a close up on the wires right close there. Close up on the wires. <laughs> Great camera effect. Alright. Make sure you got the remotes out of the way, teachers. Mm -hmm. Gonna go ahead and come around and show you here. Alright, he's gonna press the power button. Kinda made a small mental error though. Looks like he forgot to put in the uh, power cord. Simple mistake. But it was a good simple mistake because that's the last thing you need to put lesson. in. That's the last thing, yep. True. Yep. You wanna go ahead and turn it on now? Press the power button. Obviously. Right now you're going to get to that screen. Mm -hmm. So this right here is going to tell you that basically it's off because of the configuration because you took out the battery. So you're going to go ahead and go into uh, hit setup. I believe it's F2 on the 280s here. So you're going to go into setup on F2. Then you're going to go into date and time. You're going to go over there and you're going to go ahead and change that with your up and down keys on the keyboard to the correct date, month, day, and year. And then you're going to go over to your time. Alright, now you're going to go over the time. You're going to set your time. Then you're going to go ahead and enter, so it'll save that. Then you go ahead.
then turn it off, turn it back on, make sure you don't get the same same thing you did before on the startup screen. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, we did not get that. So we correctly reset the time and date and replace the battery. And that's how you do it, people. This is America.